Hello my loves, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So we've got Seducer, we've got Soulmate, and we've got Codependent. Okay, so there's definitely a third party here that's trying to break up a soul tie, okay? This person wants to uh, get someone wrapped around their finger. They want somebody here to give to them. They they want someone, this, this uh, homewrecker energy here, okay? It says seducer and it says, I want to win and I do not care who I hurt in the process. I will destroy your relationship, okay? This individual wants either you or your person to be addicted to them. This is somebody that maybe, I don't know. It's like, it's like this person wants to see you or your person chasing after them. I, I don't know if this third party, let's just for the sake of the reading guys say that this is someone going after your person. Okay. If it's vice versa, you take it as it, as it, you know, fits your situation. But this is someone that wants to destroy a connection and they want to see um, your person obsessed with them, addicted to them, codependent on them, clingy. They, they want your person to be like up their ass. But I am seeing a soul tie connection here. So I do feel like this individual is trying to break up a very strong soul tie connection. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about the collective, please. Tell me about the collective, please. Tell me about the collective, please. Tell me about the collective. We have the Nine of Swords and we've got the King of Cups. Tell me about the collective, please. We have the King of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the collective, please. We've got the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Okay, so here's what's going on, guys, okay? I feel like your person already knows this third party, okay? I feel like your person pursued this third party, chased this third party, um, was very passionate about this third party, okay? Your person was very attracted to this person, let me finish, at one point in time, okay? At one point in time, very well before they met you, okay? I feel like this third party is coming in trying to get into your person's heart space to see if there's still feelings there. There was a time, once upon a time, long, long ago, okay, your person may have really pursued this third party relentlessly, okay? Your person stopped doing that. And what this third party energy is missing is that passion, okay? Like, I, I, I don't know if, I mean, I know what it feels like. I don't know if everyone knows what it feels like, but it feels good. Like when someone's, you know, really like all over you, wants to be with you, crazy about you, can't keep their hands off of you. Shit feels good. It does. Okay, we're all human. Let's just put it out there, okay? You know, um, and I feel like this third party misses your person's attention, okay? Um, collective, your person, when they want something, they could be a Leo, Sag, or an Aries. Um, I'm seeing all signs here. I'm seeing air signs. I'm seeing water signs. I'm seeing fire signs. And I'm sure by the time I pull another card, it's going to be earth signs. So it really doesn't matter the sign. They may have strong fire in their chart. But when this person wants something, oh my lanta, they pursue it passionately, relentlessly. I'm not seeing a love bombing energy per se. It's just when this person wants you, they want you. That's it. They're just a passionate person. Okay. And I feel like this third party is missing 
your your person's attention. The reason why they're not getting attention from your person is because with the King of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, your person has gone cold towards this third party because there was something new that started. And this Ace of Pentacles is sitting right next to the Soulmate card. So collective, I feel that... <sighs> You know, for some of you, this could be a new relationship that has started, you know. And and another thing, I, I'm, I don't have cards to support this exactly, but I'm hearing it. This could be an ex. The, the, this seducer homewrecker card, this person could be an ex. And it could be, you know, when you break up with someone and there's one person that really wants to get back together and they're always chasing and they're always begging and they're always asking and they're always hitting you up, right? And it feels good to kind of say no and no and no and no. I've been there myself. Listen, let's just all just be honest here. We're all family. You know, sometimes you break up with somebody that did you dirty or you want to teach someone a lesson. And they come back to reconcile and we say no, we say no, we say no. So I feel like, you know, it could be either that your person just you know, was all over this third party, or it could be an ex that your person really wanted to reconcile with at one point in time. And this seducer card, this person right here, their phone is dry. They haven't heard from your person, your person's not chasing, and they want to know where your person is. They want to know where your person is. With the Hanged Man and the Emperor here, Collective, it has stalled out because with the Emperor, your person may be committed to you or they may feel like, you know, they've met their divine counterpart in you. We could be dealing with an Aries, a Taurus, a Pisces. Yeah, the Knight of Wands and the Death card. They're not chasing anymore. They're not chasing anymore. And and this individual here, this seducer card, became um, a little addicted to that. A little addicted to the feeling of having someone constantly chase them and beg for them. You know, their ego became addicted to that. All right, let's see here. Tell, and now you guys are together and this person wants that back. Okay, tell me about the Nine of Swords. And the devil. Wow. With the knight of pentacles. What's happening is this homewrecker person energy, okay, this third party, is starting to get upset because where are they? You know, knight of pentacles, why is it taking so long for this person to hit me up? Normally it's every other day they're on my phone trying to, you know, hit this, trying to, you know, trying to get me back or whatever. And I feel like uh, anxiety, fear, jealousy, anger is starting to hit this person. Like this is an individual that is now in their feelings tell me about the king of cups and the five of wands this is someone that likes seeing your person fighting over them jealous over them in their feelings over them you know passionate and love all this other shit you know what this seducer energy doesn't know is that now your person has shifted their focus to you collective hierophant here we could be dealing with a taurus okay the lover's card here with the knight of swords there is a the lover's card is also a very strong soul tie okay gemini energy the lover's card is also a representation of a test are you going to choose this beautiful soul tie connection that i've gifted you with or are you going to choose the snake and i feel like the snake here is this seducer energy okay and that's where the lover's card and the devil card try to uh, tie in very strongly collective because if your person should fuck up and choose that devil energy that that snake energy right then the devil gets to play puppet master you know this third party can come in and destroy this relationship right but i feel like your person is ignoring that because we've got the four of cups your person is ignoring this temptation yeah, and I feel like it's making this seducer energy go crazy with the Ten of Wands here and the Four of Pentacles. Now, the only thing that this individual here wants is your person. But when your person was chasing them, 
they didn't want your person. Whether your person was chasing them for a relationship or a reconciliation, this indivi individual thought it was so entertaining to constantly say no and watch your person beg and grovel and all this other stuff, okay? But that's gone. Their ego is not being fed. And I, <laughs> excuse me, I find it interesting winter and narcissist so this individual could be a little narcissistic where they like their ego being fed you know see apology and defensive here maybe your person was trying to reconcile with this narcissist and this narcissist because it says here opposing your nar this person didn't want to accept an apology they said they needed time and space here you know and then over time with transform and no interest your person was like okay well i guess i'm gonna move on then now all of a sudden it is your person that's not interested in them so that's what happened here, collective. I feel like this homewrecker energy was with your person at one point in time and your person did something and this narcissistic energy got mad at your person, wanted to teach them a lesson and just push them away, push them away, push them away. And now your person's attention is diverted elsewhere and they don't like that. Their ego is missing your person's, because you're again, your person has a very passionate energy to them where if they want something they're very zoned in on what they want and we've got winter so this could be happening right now or you know this homewrecker energy could be a sag a capricorn and aquarius tell me about the ace of pentacles here and the two of wands tell me about the king of swords oh damn and the ace of cups and the ten of pentacles Ooh, hoo, hoo. you know what listen you know this this uh, narcissistic energy here kept saying no 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 and guess what this person had a, another option was presented to them and it just so happened to be you collective and it is in fact a very strong soul tie connection with the ace of cups collective your person is head over heels with you and they want a future ten of pentacles this person wants a future with you they feel like you speak life into them you give them the love and the respect that they deserve see with the death card and the knight of wands this person's passion now lies elsewhere it lies with you and and it has stalled out with the seducer energy here so this third party is going to come in trying to tempt your person. Tell me about this seducer. We've got the Ace of Wands. What did I tell you? I feel like this third party may find out that you guys are together and they're going to try to tempt your person on a sexual basis. Tell me about the seducer and this Ace of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles with the eight of pentacles this is someone that is suddenly um saying that they want to get serious they want to be committed they want to work on the connection they want a second chance uh six of swords if we come back together things will be better this time you know uh, you know i've always loved you and i want you back i want to work on this all of a sudden now this narcissist ego has been humbled and all of a sudden now they want commitment with your person because your person's not chasing because your person's not chasing all right so let's see here okay tell me about the collective tell me about the collective please we've got toxic we've got marriage and we've got yes so I feel here we've got marriage toxic and yes is this third party going to affect your connection yes I feel like that is a yes, unfortunately. I feel like with unstable here, we're dealing with a third party that is just chaotic, messy. This person's all over the place. And it says here, my life is a mess as is the energy I omit. I will confuse you, don't rely on me. So I feel here, collective, that you and your person have this beautiful commitment here this beautiful marriage or maybe you're engaged or you guys are just very close okay and i feel like this individual with their toxic energy is going to come in and create some problems tell me about the collective please oh we've got the ten of swords and the queen of cups 
Six of Wands and the Three of Swords. Unfortunately here, guys, this person is going to succeed in hurting you. The Justice card and the Five of Pentacles. Oh boy. Oh no. Alright, let's see here. Tell me about the Ten of Swords here for the Collective and the Page of Cups with the Six of Cups. Yep, this ex is coming back with a bunch of sweet talk and it's going to cause a very ugly ending. Tell me about the Queen of Cups here and the Nine of Pentacles. So sad. So I'm seeing the Emperor here to the Nine of Pentacles, which is pre-Empress energy. And unfortunately, this Queen of Wands energy, okay, is going to get in your in this Emperor's head and cause a divide between the Emperor and the Empress here. With the Ace of Swords and the Six of Wands, this third party is going to succeed in getting your person's attention. Um, yeah, see, this third party is going to cause a, a problem here. Tell me about the Justice card. Tell me about the Justice card and the Page of Wands with the Empress here. The Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Um, collective, your person is about to pay some serious karma. What did I tell you about the Lover's card and the Devil? Didn't I say it at the beginning of the reading? Are you going to choose this beautiful soul tie that I have gifted you with? Or are you going to choose the Snake? Okay, the lover's card is Adam, Eve, and the snake right there on the card in the traditional Rider Waite. Okay, your person ends up choosing the snake, and now the devil gets to play puppet master with Adam and Eve. I feel like your person ends things with you horribly, goes towards the karmic, that becomes a disaster, and then you hear from the emperor here. And this emperor is saying, I'm sorry, I should have chosen you. I shouldn't have done what I done, what I did with the seven of swords and the five of pentacles here. Mm. Tell me about this page of wands. Tell me about this message that's coming in with the sun card here and the chariot and the four of wands and the two of cups. Now, all of a sudden, this person is coming in saying, you know what? I, I know now that you are my person. You are my soulmate. You are everything. I should have chosen you. I should have chosen you. Tell me about this justice card, please. Tell me about this justice card. Three of wands here. Tell me about the justice card. The strength card in the reverse. Your person, it was vulnerable to this ex. I mean, that's just the bottom line. Your person was vulnerable to this ex because this is someone that they really wanted at one point in time. And I feel that with the Six of Pentacles, they ignored you and went to go give, you know, uh, their, their, shit, their, their energy elsewhere. And I guess it didn't work out. I'm curious to see what happened here. Yeah, the star card and the world card. This is someone that's hoping that you'll forgive them. They learned some type of karmic lesson with this individual. Seven of Cups is in the reverse here. Your person sees something clearly about this uh, karmic. What happened here with this karmic? What happened here with this, this, what happened here? Why is this person back? Why is this person back? The Moon card and the Two of Cups. The Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. Well, here's what happens, okay? Um, your person was under the impression that, you know, this individual wanted to reconcile with them, that this person loved them, and instead, you know what this, this Queen of Wands did? This Queen of Wands cheated on them. This Queen of Wands walked away from them and chose someone else over them. Yeah. 
and here your collective you're sitting as pre-empress energy and the queen of cups so you loved this emperor energy a lot and here your person is sitting i took the queen of cups i sabotaged that connection what the hell was i thinking leaving an empress behind and trusting this person and here they come running back wait for it collective wait for it and I feel like you're going to shut the door on this King of Wands collective. You know why? Because you don't want the devil in your house. You don't want someone that makes bad decisions and invites the devil in. You don't want it. You're sitting in Empress Energy. You don't have time to play with the devil. You've already danced with him and all of his friends. The party is over. You're serious with your life now. You see what I'm saying? You have no time to let this type of toxicity into your life. Okay? You just don't. They think that as soon as they realize that this third party is just messing with their head, then they think back, oh shit, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have done this. Let me go run back. It's too little too late. Do we see this emperor and this empress reconciling? Page of Swords and Temperance. When they apologize, they mean it. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. They, they mean it when they say they're sorry. Page of Wands, Four of Wands. They want to marry you. They want to do all these things, okay? But you don't trust them. King of Pentacles in the reverse. There was a time that you did trust them, but now you don't. They've lost your trust. Yeah, two of swords and the star card. You know, and it's sad because this had the potential to be so beautiful. The divine orchestrated this for you guys to meet at the most perfect time. And I feel like you just don't, you don't want to let this person in. You don't trust them. Ace of Cups and the Hierophant with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups and the Six of Wands. So, Collective, you have a choice, okay? If you take them back, this is the person that you will marry. They will never cheat on you again. They've learned their karmic lesson. It's forward movement. So, you that, that decision is up to you, Collective. If you want to, you know, you have a, dis a difficult decision to make here. If you want to cut this person off because you're mad, you're angry, you don't trust them, you know, uh, this is too much baby games for you, whatever the case may be. There's a lot. Look at my phone. It's just popping off. There's going to be a lot of messages here. Um, you just don't trust this person. You know, I mean, if you could find it in your heart to forgive and heal this, will this person cheat again? Nope. Will, have they learned their karmic lesson? lesson? Yep. Um, will they marry you? Absolutely. You know, because they feel that strong soul tie there. You know, it, they just had to complete that cycle with the past. Many of you are going to be so offended and just the trust is gone that you cut this person out. And some of you will live happily ever after with this person. These are general readings, so everyone has a different take on it. Um, but I, you know, that's up to you guys. That's where free will comes in. All right, let's go ahead and do all 12 signs. Just give me a second to pick all of this up. Because you got to understand this homewrecker energy doesn't have any feelings for your person. It's just their ego. They're, they're, they miss their ego being fed by your person. They miss the attention that they were getting from your person. They didn't really want any form of serious commitment with your person. Okay. Spirit, tell me about the collective and all 12 signs. Tell me about the collective and all 12 signs, Aries to Pisces. Tell me about the collective and all 12 signs, please, Aries to Pisces. Tell me about the collective, please, and all 12 signs, Aries to Pisces. Okay. If we're dealing with an Aries, we've got the Ten of Pentacles, we've got the Four of Cups, the Magician, and the Wheel of Fortune. If you're dealing with an Aries, it's an energy of you thought this was the one, you thought this was the answer to your prayers, you thought this was everything you ever wanted, and it's not. It's not. If we're dealing with the Taurus, we've got the Three of Swords, we've got Temperance, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Swords. Um... If you're dealing with a Taurus, this person's coming in with honest communication. They know they hurt you and they really want to make it right. This person's willing to do anything. If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got the World card, the Death card, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. 
Guys, I feel like the cycle has completed between you and the Gemini. There's stagnation here, and eventually someone's going to get news that they've either you or the Gemini has moved on to something new. If we're dealing with a Cancer, we've got the Fool card, we've got the Star card, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. Um... If you're dealing with a cancer, this person is a super independent, very well off financially. And if you are an ex wanting to go back to a cancer, this is someone that would happily take reconciliation. They, they would give it another go. If we're dealing with a Leo, Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Tower, and the King of Cups. Um, collective, if you're dealing with a Leo, this is somebody that may message you out of nowhere, expressing feelings and emotions that they've been keeping inside. If we're dealing with a Virgo, we've got the Strength card, the Eight of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. So this is a Virgo that's pulling away from a situation. The Strength card can talk about wanting something, but using your better judgment and pulling away. So if we're dealing with a Virgo, this could be someone that could possibly be pulling away from a Leo and they're oh excuse me guys one second oh, guys I'm so sorry about that so if you're dealing with a Virgo this person could be potentially pulling away from a Leo and moving towards a water sign okay um or someone with strong water in their chart because they feel more healed or loved there or whatever okay if we're dealing with a libra we've got the ace of wands the page of wands the two of pentacles and the ten of swords if you're dealing with a libra um this uh, this is someone that's struggling you they hit you up for sex or when they want to go out and do something i feel like you're going to end up ending it because it hurts too much watching this person come and go if we're dealing with a scorpio the nine of swords the sun card the justice card and the five of swords this is a scorpio that smiles to your face but they're suffering inside and you will pay for it they they are planning revenge it's a lot of scorpios are like this where if you hurt their feelings or you make them cry or you give them anxiety they'll smile to your face but they're plotting revenge so be careful with the scorpio okay if we're dealing with a Sagittarius, Page of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Hermit, and the Emperor. Um, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, this person may come in to apologize, but I don't think that you're going to answer. You, you, you are keeping your, you, you're just keeping your foot down, putting your foot down, putting up boundaries. There's just silence there. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, the Devil, the Two of Wands the Hierophant and the Ten of Wands. This is a Capricorn that, you know, it's like on one hand, they want to commit to the situation. On the other hand, they're still tempted by lust or friends or addictions or whatever. And they're having a very hard time trying to choose between the two. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, we've got the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Moon card. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius here, um, you just don't understand this person because one minute they seem to be all about you and you're everything that they want. The next minute they're closed off and this is because they're entertaining either another option or this person's just busy. You know, Aquarians, um, they have friends, they've got family. And one thing about dealing with an Aquarius, ladies and gentlemen, is that they treat everyone equally. <laughs> okay. They treat everyone equally, equally. So, you know, I mean, if if they're out with their friends or you know if they're if 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 they're out with you and they don't pick up the phone for their friends when they're out with you that means if they're out with their friends they're not going to pick up the phone for for you when they're spending time with their friends so you know this could be someone that is keeping their options open or it's just someone that you know you don't understand this person because you feel like they're all about you but they will go out with friends family they need their time and space if we're dealing with a Pisces, we've got the Two of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. So collective, if you're dealing with a Pisces, this is someone that may be a little closed off towards you because they're missing being single. They're not cheating on you. They are committed, but they're missing being single. It's like sitting on the couch watching a movie with your person and wishing that they were out at the club or something like that, okay? All right, guys, I love you so much. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon. Take care, my darlings. Thanks. Thanks.